Number 1. National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. Part Aquarium, Part Museum, Part Science Center, the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium inspires stewardship by creating educational experiences where history and rivers come alive. Our 14-acre campus on the banks of the Mississippi River features two separate two-story buildings and an expansive outdoor plaza. Number 2. Mississippi River Ecotourism Center. The museum and aquarium is home to over 100 species of animals and thousands of historic artifacts. With so much to see and do, there's always a chance to hashtag explore something new off the Mississippi River features two separate two-story buildings and an expansive outdoor plaza. Number 3. Festival of Trees. Museum located in Dubuque, Iowa, USA. The museum is a property of the Dubuque County Historical Society, with two centers on the riverfront campus, the Mississippi River Center and the National River Center. The museum is an affiliate of the Smithsonian Institution. Number 4. Bever Park. Love 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 this zoo for an easy day trip. It's small, but definitely packed with some punch. A fun zoo. Kids bored, this zoo you could get through easily in a couple hours or so, and the kids would love it and I don't feel it ever gets old. Number 5. Blank Park Zoo. Imagine a place where you can have a wild family adventure viewing rhinos or feeding a giraffe while also helping preserve animals for future generations. A portion of the proceeds from your visit to Blank Park Zoo. Number 6. Storybook Hill Children's Zoo. We wanted to add a little something to do for our kids after our Field of Dreams visit. I read the reviews and yes, this is not a zoo, I would call it a park. But a wonderful park. My kids loved it. No animals out to pet, but we saw cows. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.